Hello my friends, I'm Rich Larson and I'm the RC Tire Guy. Today I've got five techniques most riders have never even tried. Now these techniques from afar seem so simple, but it's surprising how many riders don't completely have the confidence and control to execute these skills. I firmly believe in pursuing the ability to control your machine and for that matter your body in relation to your machine completely. Again, these skills are so simple, but before you judge, I'd recommend making sure you can do them first. As we move forward, each drill will progressively get harder. Starting with something I rarely see riders perform, riding away in a standing position. Of course, in technical situations, the ability to stand is imperative. Plain and simple, you don't go through boulder fields seated. If you make a mistake and you need to restart and regain your momentum, being able to stand stand in a standing feet onto the pegs immediately position is required for your efficiency. It's amazing how many riders don't know how to stand up as soon as they move. They have to completely let out the clutch seated, then add their second foot to the peg. After they've gained momentum, they then are able to stand up. Regardless of your height, learning to use your quad muscle, driving through the leg that has the foot on the peg and standing immediately will assist you in any situation where regaining your momentum is required. This is part of that getting unstuck technique we did a breakdown on. Often, I'll make riders stand the whole time during a lesson. We need to break that seated habit. Practicing this technique often is a great way to hold yourself accountable. Next up, we add a little difficulty to the last technique. Again, seemingly so simple, yet never attempted, starting side saddle, stepping onto the bike. This is something that shows confidence in a rider's understanding of their body and clutch control, using that muscle in your leg to step above the bike. Often, I want to see a rider using that muscle rather than jumping off the ground with their planted foot. I recommend first practicing this with the bike off. Learning how to adjust the lean angle in relation to the weight of your body on the weighted peg. Notice I turn the front tire away and lean the bike away from the side I'm standing. I drive the majority of my weight through the peg first before I even swing my leg over. After mastering the approach with the bike off, we use the same coordination and technique with the bike running, yet now we're adding that smooth release of the clutch. Seemingly simple, yet surprisingly hard as well as important. I'll use this technique in hard enduro situations to save time and energy. Similar to the last technique but opposite, we look for the ability to swing your leg off without coming to a stop and planting the opposite foot on the ground. We did an episode on how to crash, which you can check out right here. This is something I often use when mistakes occur. That ability to drive the weight through your peg and swing your leg off, preventing a tip over, will save yourself and your bike. I've prevented hundreds of downhill tip overs using this technique. Mastering it on flat ground will make you much safer when it matters. Again, I recommend practicing this first with the bike off, then add movement as you get more comfortable. Next up, we have an awesome clutch technique that I never really see riders practice. Using a slight incline, we practice working the bike from left to right. This is a great technique for your understanding of the friction zone as well as using your body to maximize movement. I mean, how often do we see riders using this in hard enduro situations while getting set up? A huge part of this technique is the use of your body. Notice how I twist my hips and torso to initiate this movement. To move left, we start with a slight twist to the right, then timing the twist with a quick slip of the clutch. Of of course, vice versa when moving to the right. I also drive my leg and opposing knee into the side of the machine to assist with the movement. This is a key ingredient in any hard enduro athlete's arsenal. Finally, we have the last skill, moving the front tire from right to left, side saddle. This technique is used in those extreme places. Being comfortable off the side of the machine comes in handy when it really matters. Just like the last drill, a similar quick slip and drag of your clutch control is required here. Whichever direction the front tire needs to move, I recommend being on that side of the machine 
to leverage and help pull the bike towards you. This episode is about making sure you have your basics completely dialed. Every one of these techniques are weapons in my arsenal that I use every time I ride. I hope you dial these techniques and they help you as much as they've helped me. If you're enjoying the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at IRCMoto and my personal Instagram page at richlarson 511 And until next time, keep shredding.